What's up Legends, LGG Alden here, so I'm back with episode 6 of my Game Maker tutorials. I know it's been a little while since I uploaded the last one, I've been kind of busy working on some other game projects and doing other things, but I'm hoping to get a lot more videos out on tutorials like this. So, yeah, so let's get right into it. So, today what we'll be doing is making a reload function for the player so you can have a certain amount of bullets and then when you have to when you get low enough then you reload the gun or your ammo or whatever you're using and then we'll also make it so that the enemies have a health and so that they die when they lose all that health so we'll probably start with the health since it's the easier of the two so the way we'll start that off is we'll go into the enemy and then obviously as you can see he has speed so we'll do like a health we'll do HLTH just cuz like with the way game maker works is there's presets so like if I was to type in speed that's a variable or if I did health it's a variable but when it comes to those you don't really have complete control over it so if you do a custom variable of it you can do it whatever you want you can use it wherever and all that so it's not like you're limited to the uses for it so with the health we'll do health is equal to Let's do 10, okay? So, HLTH. So then what we're going to do is we'll have another thing here. We'll do an if statement. So if and then open parenthesis and then you'll do HLTH is less than or equal to 0. So then if it gets to 0 or if it gets less than just in case because sometimes that can happen. So less than or equal to. So if it's 0 or lower then open bracket and then in here we'll have it so that it does instance destroy which you know that's how you get rid of stuff how you make it go away okay so the way it'll work is okay so then we're gonna add an event collision it'll be with object bullet and then add a script and it'll be we'll do hlth minus equals and then actually what we'll do is before we do that we'll go into the player into the create event so he has his speed and then we'll do DMG which is gonna be damage and we'll make his damage for now just one okay so that's gonna be in the player create event so then minus equals and then we'll do OBJ player so this is calling to the player dot DMG so it calls to his damage variable in the player, object player. So it's going to minus equal, which means basically that's like doing, that would be like health equals health minus object player dot damage. This is just a simpler way of doing it. So when it comes to collision with it, we have that. Okay, so actually, let me try that and make sure. Let's see. I think that should make it work. Just have to test it, see if there's anything we can fix with that. Okay, so one, two, three, four five and it's not working let's see yeah okay well, let's see where can we fix that I believe it might be the fact that it goes away as soon as it hits the enemy let's try commenting that out quickly see what it does you guys don't have to follow along with this I'm just trying to troubleshoot here figure out what I can do to fix that Okay, so if it just can go right through, yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's see, where can, how can we fix that? I believe, I don't know. I guess we can just get rid of that for now, and then I think there. Let me try something here. Um, oh wait, instance. Mm, I don't know. Well, okay, so we'll just leave it what we have. I'll fix that in the later thing so that it gets rid of the bullet too. I believe there's a certain code, but I'll have to look at it and make sure I have it right. So, okay, so for now, you can just shoot the bullet through them. It's not that bad. It, it'll be fine. We'll fix it later. But, um, so, okay, so we have it, so it does that. And, um, what is it? Okay, so next we'll do a reload function. So here's where we're going to go in here in the create and we'll do a variable just ammo so ammo will start off with 10 okay so you have 10 ammo at the start and then what we'll do is 
global left press is that. So ammo. Actually, here we have to do an if statement just to set this up. So if, and then we'll do ammo greater than, or actually, yeah, greater than zero. It'll allow you to shoot it. And then when it shoots it, so after you do that, after it shoots, then you do ammo minus equals one. So it's minusing one ammo every time you shoot. Okay, so then you have 10 ammo. And then we'll do a step event. So we'll set up this key underscore reload, which will do keyboard check pressed. Or actually, what should we do for a key for that? Oh, we'll just do space or er, R, O R D, R, capital R. There we go, and then like that. Okay, so now key reload. Okay, so if key underscore reload, then it'll. Here's what it'll do. It'll do ammo equals ten. 10. There you go. Okay, so it'll set the ammo back to 10 anytime you reload. So whether it's full, not full, anything like that. And then, yeah, okay, let's try that. So let's see. So we'll try it out, make sure that it works so that you can only shoot 10 shots. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I can't shoot anymore. Press R and I can shoot again. Shoot 10, got to reload. Yeah, okay. So that works good. There we go. And then, um, so you could just keep pressing R and you'd have more ammo. Okay. So I believe that, yeah, that, that was actually pretty good. Let's see, is there any way with other... Let's try this, hold up. Instance destroy. Wait, whoa, what's going on? Oh, there we go. Destroy. Okay, let's try this quickly. If this doesn't work, I'm just not gonna deal with it right now and figure out the way to fix it properly. Oh, it does. Does it take the damage though? Yeah, it does. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, it seems to be a little weird though. Maybe what we do is we put this in there. Let's try this quickly. So that seems to work fine. I guess I just had to sit there and kind of think that through for a second. I wasn't sure if that worked. Okay, and then... One, two... Oh! Oh, because it's trying to take it away from the wrong thing. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, so that, that doesn't really work the best. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so the enemies have... How much health do they have again? Let's try that just to check it. Their health is 10. Okay. Oh, they have 10 health. So either way, it takes 10 shots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, man, I'm losing them. I'm losing them. Oh, my gosh, they all went into the same spot. Let's just get this one. Just, just the lonely one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it works fine. Okay, so we're good, guys. It all works. So now we have enemy health and we have a reload function and bullets, so like ammunition. Okay. So that's probably where I'm gonna end this episode for this. So this is episode six, and I'm hoping to get a lot more episodes out from now on. Like I said, uh, maybe next time we'll work on some GUI in the game, so you have some graphical user interface and you can see stuff so it'll work pretty cool so other than that guys thanks for watching if you guys have any questions anything doesn't work make sure to comment it and i'll hopefully see it right away and answer it and help you fix it and anything like that if you guys have suggestions go ahead and comment it i know one person suggested something for a series on game maker tutorials and i'm gonna hopefully get to that pretty soon but, yeah, guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.